Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, day 16 of the Warboss Tay painting challenge. Um, beginning of week three and um, I've been busy painting my Dark Outer Army. I'm uh, now introducing another colour to the army, uh, what I'm calling my bone colour, which um, I plan to put on all the little uh, the weapons, um, all the sort of spikes and swords and stuff um, and hopefully the, the new colour addition to the army will really help make the army pop. Um, now obviously I am speed painting the whole army so uh, potentially this could be the last colour that goes on to this army. Um, depending on how much time I get I may not um, add anything else so this could be the sort of final look uh, bar any sort of highlights and things. Um, okay, so let's uh, have a closer look at what I've been doing. So I've been quite busy, uh, to be fair. I've managed to do about five hours of painting and it actually took me two coats of paint to get a, a decent uh, layer down of this uh, bone colour. So I'm using the, uh, well, bleach bone as I always call it, but whatever the new name is for the, the bone colour. Um, and uh, basically, yeah, I've been painting all the little weapons and the little spikes on the guns um, and these old warriors actually were pretty time consuming because they've got two blades on their gun plus the thing that they're holding in their hand as well just show you that now i managed to paint the whole of the board of warriors and also the board of hellions and witches now having said that uh, that is just on the blades themselves so I do plan on going back in, uh, like for example that guy who's got the two little spikes on his horns, I am definitely considering painting those um, in this colour and uh, possibly any spikes that you find on shoulder pads. That's my homunculus number two and where are we, number one and of course the Archon and of course we've got the warriors, these warriors are here are uh, all from the Ravagers. And then uh, just zoom out a little bit and go over to this board. So this is the Hellions and Witches. Quite a lot of weapon options once again on these. So I think these two boards would probably take me the longest out of the four boards that I've got. Uh, but yeah, I just went in and I painted their close combat weapon. I did in the end paint the whip um, in this colour as well. Um, bearing in mind I'm sort of, as I said, speed painting this army, so um, I can't be too fussy, you know, the, the key thing for me is to get the army looking tabletop quality and uh, everything matching together quite nicely. Now obviously if I was taking loads and loads of time and I was doing lots and lots of different colours, I probably would paint that whip maybe like a leathery colour, which I suppose you'd expect. But we are talking Dark Elder, so, I mean, they, you know, it could be any colour you want, basically. But um, the whole idea for me is to have everything matching in. So that's how they're looking. Now, of course, I am going to be washing this bone colour. Uh, so that will uh, tone them down a little bit more. And then there's the Hellions. So uh, just, uh, just run through them. It's quite interesting, now I've got that bone colour down, it really makes that skin look quite purpley. Um, more purpley than it looked before I had that bone colour down, so it's quite interesting how colours enhance other colours. Uh, but like I said, that bone colour will be toned down uh, once I get the wash on. Uh, but I've still got two more boards to do, so I'm happy with my progress. Um, I always like to get a big start um, at the beginning of the week, uh, just to sort of put me in good stead for the rest of the, the week's painting, so um, I'm very happy with that. Right, so what I'm going to do now is move on to today's question. Uh, day 16. Uh, take the camera out of the man cave. Show us your pets. I don't have any pets. Um, or the view outside your window or the backyard. Um, or simply show us the rest of your painting area. That would be normally, like, we wouldn't normally get to see. Tell us about where you live, what's the weather like. For those of us who probably never travel too far from home, it's awesome to see those outdoor videos from other hobbyists around the world. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you outside of the window, but I'm going to unplug this microphone, just go to my other mic. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to show you out the window because it's right next to me. It is 
incredibly hot and sunny today, even though it's quite late um, in the evening. Yeah, I've got these dodgy blinds, so it's going to make it hard to see. And to be fair, there isn't a lot to see. It's a road and some bushes and a house. <laughs> but it's quite a nice area, to be fair. It's pretty quiet around here. Yes, you get your a few drunks and stuff walk past sometimes, like anywhere, but um, on the whole, it's pretty good here. Um, this is our front garden, and we've got quite a nice sort of... Uh, enclosed back garden as well which uh, means that uh, the children can play, play in the back garden nice and safe and uh, indeed our front room is overlooking the, the front uh, the uh, back garden so yeah I know it sounds odd doesn't it but yeah our front room is at the back of the house if you get my drift yeah <laughs> living room let's say rather than front front room um, so yeah that's just waffle basically isn't it <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's right outside my man cave, just there. Yeah. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks for watching.